Hey everyone, Dave Liguori here, Bay Area Pervious Concrete, uh, 2016. This is the first in this winter series of stormwater sleuthing videos. And uh, after four years of drought, we finally have some serious rain going on here. So we're gonna drive around to a couple of job sites, uh, installations we've done the past year or two, and check them out, see how they're doing. Come on along for the ride. Okay, so we made it over to El Camino Park. It's a new park in Palo Alto. We installed the Pervious here about six months ago. And uh, there's a 12 foot wide trail. Only part of it's Pervious Concrete because this was the city's first time using Pervious and they were a little uh, conservative about uh, new material. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at how the Pervious is performing as well as some other surfaces, okay? All right, here's the 12 foot wide section of asphalt trail. And it's raining pretty good. It's all running off. Looks like it's a little slope to the right. Forming puddles on the side there. All right, not surprising at all. Now let's pan over to the regular concrete. And we see the same thing, lots of puddles, all that water is running off to the left in this case. And now, by comparison, let's take a look at the pervious concrete versus regular concrete. In fact, if we get a close up here, it really doesn't even look like it's raining. It even sounds different. It's kind of unusual. All right. And again, the asphalt versus the pervious. So this job is, uh, this installation is just doing fantastic. There's no puddles at all. It looks great. No runoff, of course. And uh, this one's a big success. Uh, score one for pervious concrete. All right, so I'm really happy with what I see here. This installation is just performing beautifully. And the best part is, in terms of stormwater mitigation, this is 100% effective. There's not a drop of water going anywhere but through the pervious and into the ground, and that's exactly what we want. And for those of you who've seen my presentations, you know, I talk about the fact that pervious concrete's not an effective way to manage stormwater. It's, it's kind of a trick sentence, because there's nothing to manage, as you can see here. 100% of the stormwater just disappears right through the slab. So we're not, a, we're not managing stormwater in a sense, we're eliminating it completely. And that's a lot different than every other type of hard surface and BMP that's out there now. They all need to move water to different places and do things with it. This is a 100% passive system. There's no pipes needed, no drain inlets, no slopes. Just let it infiltrate where it falls and it's all gone, right? And here's a great example of how well it works. So let's jump back in the truck now and head over to another job site, see if we can do the same thing again. Follow me. Well, changing plans here. The rain is slowing down and the sun's trying to pop out. So it looks like we're done for today. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.